Okay, we're sneaking up to see if there's trout where they spawn. Oh, there's trout there. There's another one. Okay, so, these fish come up and spawn. They are a good size. Look at them. That's a big one. There. Right there. There's some little ones. Yeah. I don't see a big one oh, though. They're kind of spooky. Where is the So we decided to put the camera down so you guys could see what goes on under the water after we leave. And there are two spots in this lake where the fish try to spawn and you can see they're coming back into the area and they like the gravel area for spawning. And they need a gravel area in a creek to get the amount of oxygen needed in the water for their fry to survive. And in both of the locations that they spawn, they aren't very um, good locations or ideal locations for these trout to spawn, but they manage to keep replenishing the lake every year. So one of the areas which you saw at the beginning of the video is a little outlet but that kind of dries up later in the summer sometimes and isn't ideal for the fry to hatch. And then there's this area and it's just a gravel beach of the lake and I assume that some of these fry actually make it in this area uh, because the lake keeps getting replenished. And as you can see these fish are, uh, these rainbow trout are pretty nice sized rainbow trout. Um, they're the ones that you see in the video there are about 23 to 25 inches long, maybe 5 pounds each. That little one that went in front of the camera is probably only about 12 inches long. But he's a younger generation and he's trying to spawn. And rainbow trout can spawn um, every year, so if the conditions are right for them, they don't die like salmon do after they're spawning. So anyways, you can see these trout will kind of get together here, these two larger trout. And they'll come into the scene here. And they are working on a specific area that the female cleared out. And it's called a red. And the male will uh, sit above the female on this red and the female will guard the red and the male will guard the female and the female will lay eggs in the red and the male will um, will fertilize those with what's called milt anyways as they're paired up that male I've watched these uh, I have other videos where we've watched these trout uh, spawn in the past and that male will kind of keep an eye on his female that he chooses and he will go and try and get her to spawn and then he'll spawn with her and he'll protect her uh, from spawning with other trout and she will protect the the red from other females that come by to look for a good spawning area and this trout here, he's about to do his little shake thing again, and it produces like a really low rumble. Um, it's kind of a really cool sound that it produces, so it's really faint in the video, but I turned it up here in just a second, and you can kind of hear what it sounds like. So here it is. I found that so interesting and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So anyways, we don't fish these rainbow trout in this lake this time of year because we want to make sure that the population um, stays healthy. 
it's still kind of low right now and actually the last couple of summers I've had a difficult time catching trout in the summer and you can see him take off defending his female from another trout there those little fish in the bottom there of the screen those are called three spine stickleback and they um, live in a lot of the lakes in Alaska and they're just kind of a minnow and they have a little like triangle of spines that makes them really difficult for larger fish to eat especially grayling you can see that trout that male trout which is called a buck and the female trout is called a hen and that buck he will go chase off uh, all those smaller trout that he figures he could take in a fight and they don't stick around because he's like the biggest one in the area here and there goes another stickleback on the bottom if you look closely Anyways, trout are uh, in the middle of the food chain, rainbow trout are, and uh, they have quite a few predators. Uh, I do have a video of a loon chasing after these large trout underwater, and you can see here that something got this trout's attention, and he freaks out and just takes off. So, something spooked him, and he was like, I'm out of here, and they can swim pretty quickly, they're excellent fighters uh, they're one of my favorite fish to catch and they like to jump when trying to escape so it doesn't take them long to come back though and then right back in the area trying to trying to spawn again I did that again where I turned up the volume on the male when he does his little vibration there uh, just to give you guys kind of an effect so you can actually hear hear it. It's uh, really subtle and it takes some bass on the speakers to hear it. I tried hearing it on a uh, cell phone last time I had recorded it and I just didn't get the same effect as I did with the speakers on my computer. Every year I try to stick the camera down and just kind of take a peek at what's going on under the water and uh, it turns out a little bit different every year but we get a uh, good video of every, every year's trout spawn and also some of the other videos I have we have a loon chasing one underwater and some other cool videos so you can check those out in the cards here or at the end of the video. Here comes that little troublemaker again. And he's ready and on the prowl to defend his territory and his female.
Rainbow trout are one of the state of Alaska's most iconic game fish. Uh, they're pretty widespread, though. They have them in most of the United States and a lot in the northern hemisphere. And some have been introduced down in Patagonia and New Zealand, and they have real good rainbow trout fisheries down there as well. So they're just kind of a pretty widespread trout. But Alaska produces some uh, crazy nice rainbow trout, uh, some of the salmon stocks uh, that come back to the state. Uh, they really provide a good food source for rainbow trout. And in western Alaska, uh, they have real large rainbow trout that grow massive because of the amount of food that they have available in the watersheds. You can see here the female is about to dig her red. And I have other video of uh, uh, the female trout in the creek uh, protecting their red from other female and fighting over uh, basically the most prime real estate to lay the eggs. So they fight as well and uh, they can be pretty aggressive. If I were to fish them right now they'd be very easy to catch uh, since they're so aggressive any big spinner, anything like that, that male would be right after it and that female would protect her red as well. So it's really good for the population to leave them alone and just let them do their thing and then have the challenge of finding them later on in the lake. You guys, I hope you enjoyed some of the underwater footage uh, we captured for you. Um, it's a pretty neat spot we have that we're able to find these trout and, and get the video down and the video camera down in front of them. But you can check out some of our other underwater footage that we've captured and hopefully you enjoyed the video. So thanks for sticking, our, sticking it out and stay tuned for our Alaska Trivia. Hey guys, welcome back to Alaska Trivia. And last week's winner uh, was Far North Bushcraft and Survival. And he answered right with the, que the answer that we're looking for, and that was an ermine. And I had a few answers that were correct, but it wasn't the answer we were looking for, so we chose uh, Far North Bushcraft and Survival. We had one that was before that uh, for weasel, but a weasel isn't specific enough for us. So we were looking for ermine. This little guy, check him out. <laughs> Cute little fella. This is the ermine in his summer coat. So anyways, our question for this week is, with the rainbow trout footage we got, we're asking what is the Alaska state record for rainbow trout? If you know the answer to that, comment below. And if you're the first one, we'll feature you next time we do Alaska Trivia. So. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.